Welcome to my YouTube channel which is titled Research Methods Class with Dr. Lydia Wabugo. In this class, we discuss everything social science research from understanding the research discipline, research philosophy, the elements of scientific research, and the methodologies of conducting research. In research methods, we have a book titled Research Methods, Theory and Practice. This book is accessible through the website where you can access the hard copy of the book or a downloadable PDF format of the book. In the same website, you are able to access all the courses which includes the free research methods course, IBM SPSS statistics course, M&E consultancy course which are available at a fee. Please find the links in the description. Welcome. Welcome to our lesson where we are going to discuss observation. So far, we have discussed two main methods of data collection. We have discussed questionnaires and we have discussed interviews. So this will be our third method of data collection which we are going to discuss. Under each method, we have mentioned the instruments that are used. Other questionnaires, we said you can either use a questionnaire or an interview guide, which is a questionnaire administered orally. Under the interviews, you can use interview schedule again where questions will be very structured and the researcher will not probe and also you can use an interview guide which will require the researcher to probe and which collects qualitative data. Still other interviews we also use focus group discussion guide where the interview is between the interviewer and a discussion among participants. In our just concluded lesson, we have explained the meaning of focus group discussion as a discussion among a homogeneous group members to obtain their perceptions, feelings, and ideas on a specific topic. We have also explained the features of focus groups and rules to be followed when conducting focus group discussion. So before going into discussion of observation, let us first look at the learning outcomes. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the meaning of observation, identify the types of observation, state the characteristics of observation, and discuss the limitation and strength of observation. Now, what is observation? Observation is a systematic data collection approach which relies on the expertise of the researcher to use his or her eyes to record the events as they unfold in the natural settings of the participants. Observation is associated with observational research and there are mainly two kinds of observational research. The first one is systematic or unstructured observation where there are defined aspects of the participants to be observed. This is associated with quantitative research and the researcher uses an observation schedule as an instrument. Then we have participant or unstructured observation which investigates lifestyles, cultures and beliefs of particular social groups. In this case, the researcher becomes a participant and that is why this is associated with qualitative research and the researcher uses an observation guide as the instrument. In participant observation, the researcher typically becomes a member of a culture, a group, or setting and adopt roles to conform to that setting. In doing so, the researcher is able to gain a closer insight into the cultures, practices, motivations, and emotions. Participant observers may use multiple methods to gather data. One primary approach involves 
writing field notes as the participants are being observed. What are the characteristics of observation? The first one is direct observation. The researcher relies on the eyes to record events as they occur. And this makes it different from questionnaires and interviews, which relies on what the participants tell the researcher. In observation, it is the researcher who makes the observation and records the events, not relying on the participants to tell him or her on what to record. Number two, fieldwork is in natural setting. Observation is done where the participant is. And in this case, the researcher should be very careful not to disrupt the situation that is being researched. And the other characteristic is the issue of perception. This means that the way one researcher observes a situation may be different from the way another may observe the same same situation. Therefore, observation is influenced by the researcher's perceptions and other personal factors. And that actually is one of the major limitations of observation. The possibility of different observers producing different reports points to the fact that data could vary based on the observer rather than the event being researched. How do we address this limitation? It is by use of systematic observation where the researcher prepares a list of items to be observed by each and every observer. Another way in which we can address this limitation is by stating how those things are to be measured. This can be done by recording the frequency of events, and this makes a numerical count of the frequency of that event, and also the duration of events, which records the time taken to cover the event. What are the strength of observation schedules? Observation schedules ensures that all researchers are observing the same activity and all researchers record data in a systematic and very standardized way. The second major limitation of observation is disruption of the natural setting. The researcher is an outsider and he or she may be slapped the natural setting of the participants. It is therefore prudent that the researcher should ensure that such disruptions are as short-lived as possible and as he or she fades into the background and is ignored by the participants. This can be done by the researcher positioning him or herself in an obtrusive position but where they can be able to record the events or the researcher should avoid interacting with the participants as much as possible or extended period of time. This means that the more the researcher spends his or her time in the field, the less they have any significant effect on the proceedings because he will become part of the participants and the participants will end up ignoring this researcher. That means his presence will not disrupt what they are doing in their natural setting. How does a researcher determine what to record in an environment that has so much going on? The researcher should be guided by the following principles. One, relevance. What is recorded must be relevant to the research questions. Complete. The observation schedule should be complete in terms of all that needs to be observed and recorded. Overt. Include overt behaviors and events that are observable and measurable in a very direct manner. Thoughts and attitudes that need to be inferred should be avoided as much as possible. Obvious. The events recorded should be obvious to the researcher and require a minimum of interpretation by the researcher. Precise. There should be no ambiguity about the categories of the events that are being observed and finally easy to record. The events should occur 
with sufficient regularity and sequence for the observer, in this case the researcher, to be able to record the occurrences accurately. It is important to note that while observing, field notes should be written when the researcher is observing the events or soon after the observation. And all the field notes should contain the date, time, location, and details of the main informant. This should be done in a very consistent location. And that brings us to the end of this lesson where we have discussed observation and we have also looked at the limitations and the strength of observation. In our next lesson, we are going to discuss document analysis as a method of data collection. But before then, make sure you visit the researchmethodsclass.com website where you can watch the full research methods course. You can also access other courses on SPSS and m and &E consultancy. You are also able to book for consultation and you can also buy the research methods ebook. So see you in our next lesson as we talk about document analysis as a method of data collection.